Hi, we're here with uh, Isabel, and I'm really uh, keen to build on what we talked about with her business. We talked about Isabel, you made a really big transition from uh, a career in the justice system to entertainment. Yes, so um, I was a prison officer um, in a couple of maximum security prisons throughout Victoria for about five years. Victoria's a hard place, we've seen a lot of the under, you know, the under uh, yes, that was the world. Yes. <laughs> you really uh, thrived in there and did okay, but yeah. you found out that, uh, as we know, we had a riot in our Banksia Hill Detention Centre earlier today. Yeah. Um, but it's a hard environment. Definitely. You must be a special sort of person, uh, away from the glamour, yeah. to be able to take on something like that and actually function there. Yeah, I look like... I'd be lying if I said I found it easy. It was quite a difficult job. Um, I'm surprised I lasted five years. I don't know how I did, but I did. Um, and you know, I just wanted to go in there and save the world. And found out, you know, after four or five years, I became quite jaded. I wasn't about to save everyone, so I sort of had a midlife crisis at 29 and said I'm going to be a star. So you know, the rest is history. Oh, well, you, you made obviously a good decision in terms of your happiness. I hope so, yes. <laughs> You find now, like I'm an old guy, when I was young, this sort of uh, like stripping or uh, any exotic dancing was frowned on. That's not the case now. We've got teenage girls who understand yeah. that girls, including working girls, let alone entertainment girls, are really like you and me. I, yeah, you think society as a whole is becoming quite desensitised to the whole uh, sexuality, like um, even um, you know their own personal sexuality. Being named, being a stripper is no longer seen as bad as what it used to be. Um, I mean, we still have quite, you know, stigmas that are not, not okay, um, you know. But, but it, even so, uh, we've come so far. Yeah, we I have. Mean, how many people in mainstream, up until recently, would have even heard of transgender? Yeah, no, it's exactly right. And, you know, it's, it's quite scary when we turn around and go, only recently have we acknowledged gay equality. So, it's, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there slowly. But, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully the future holds, you know, amazing things. I'm really glad. And with the transition, what are, what is something you miss out of mainstream, or what is something that you, in your new business, have found as a real positive surprise? Um, look, I, I think I find the simplicity of life um, I miss. Um, just going to work and coming back, and that's it. That's all you had to do. Was get up, go to work. And you had nothing outside of that. But I, you know, running my own business. That's more about running your own business than the nature of the business. Yeah. Though, isn't so it? it's not. Um, you know, when you work for someone else, it's fine. You don't have to think. But when you run your own business, I found I find that quite stressful. So it feels like I'm always working. If I'm not on social media, I'm you know conversing with my marketing team and management team. If I'm not doing, it's always I feel like I'm always doing something with Isabel Del Toro. You're always switched on. Always, always switched on. Even like I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and go, oh, oh, I've got an idea. You know, Wind it down, yeah. Uh, anyway, so it's very hard to separate from that sometimes. So. Well, especially as you're building this up, you've got to put more yeah. energy in the Oh, exactly there. right, exactly right. So, um, well, I hope you and Ashton yeah. do really, really well. Oh, you're both you. delightful ladies. Thank and one of the things I'm really loving, because when I was a young bloke, uh, I uh, had lots of friends who were working girls and exotic dancers. Now to see that being accepted part of my history yeah. makes us all uh, be happy. Thank you, thank you. No, it's good. It's great. So thank you very much. See you online, mate. Ah, uh, thank you. She's good. She's stitching.